I have been to Edinburgh before, and I'm very happy to be back. It's been 10 years since I've been here, and I was here in the winter last time. I've never been to the book festival before. Very excited to be here. As is Lee, probably. Mostly, I'm very excited to be here. I was here when I was 14 years old. I was here in Edinburgh, but uh, this is my first time at the book festival, and uh, as an adult who can enjoy all of the city. I've just finished a tour of uh, Liverpool, Birmingham, London, Newcastle, although I've been told I say Newcastle wrong. It's Newcastle. Uh, and uh, it was wonderful. It was completely fantastic. We had wonderful audiences, amazing readers, great booksellers. Um, I'm actually quite sorry it's over. I'm at the start. I have to pick up her pieces. I'm going to a lot the of the wreckage same I've left behind. Yeah, a lot yeah. of crying people and just the city in ruins. That's what I have to do now. I'm the cleanup crew. You'll hold them and sing gently, gently. Yeah. Such a shame. Uh, the Grisha Trilogy is a fantasy series set in a world inspired by Tsarist Russia, and it tells the story of a country that's been torn in two by a swath of nearly impenetrable darkness, <laughs> crawling with monsters that feast on human flesh, as monsters are wont to do. Uh, and uh, the way that this country is able to get to their ports and harbors is by sending people through, and the people they usually send through are uh, conscripted soldiers, very young conscripted soldiers, and one of these is Alina Starkov. Um, she's an orphan and a refugee. She's spent her whole life being unwanted and overlooked until the day her regiment enters the fold and she reveals a power that puts her on a collision course with the most powerful forces in the kingdom. Like that guy. Uh, my series is about an American who comes to London uh, and as she, when she arrives, someone starts recreating the murders of Jack the Ripper in almost every detail except for location, which sends the city into a panic, as I think it would reasonably cause one to panic. But then it turns out there's a little bit more going on. She gets involved with a very special branch of the police force. And then things just go worse from there. Horribly, wonderfully really, worse. Yeah. I grew up reading fantasy and science fiction. They were really the genres that... I think around age 12, when things were very rough at school and rough at home, uh, they were kind of the, the genres that I discovered and fell into. And actually, when I started writing, uh, that was around that time. And it was this way of seeing a much broader world, a much bigger world that uh, made a lot more sense in some ways than the one that I uh, did not particularly enjoy living in. I see these as mystery, as mystery novels, really. I'm a big, was a big, big mystery reader. I think I really just wanted to be a private detective. I think I really still just want to be a private detective. I want someone to have a murder in their house, like preferably like in a library or something, that I can solve. I want this very badly. I am possibly willing to make it happen. If you commit the murder, yeah. then you can't successfully solve the murder. That's not true. Unless you frame somebody else for the murder. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's lots of ways it can be done, Lee. You just yeah. have to think about it. I'm going to step away from it. I'm not going to kill anybody. <laughs> I don't actually believe her. 